Hello, in today's video I'm going to be doing um, a masterboard that I'm going to cut up into pieces. Now I've done this before but I've done a collage one but this time I'm using my jelly plates. I've got the larger one and I've got the smaller one ready. Uh, this paper I'm using on the left is from an old, uh, it's from um, a paper pad that I've received recently. And there's some pages in it that I don't like so much, there's some gorgeous ones in it that I do like. But these are a couple of pages I'm not too keen on so I'm going to use these to just jelly plate on top of. Now normally I put on some gesso but that's not handy at the moment so I'm just going to be using System 3 paints. Now I've sped up this video because this is hours long, I think I was working for four hours. Now I start off um, by applying this buff titanium paint, it's a bit clogged up. I put far too much down so I'm going to remove some of it with a brush and I'll use that later, nothing gets wasted and I'm going to just roll over these pieces. I don't know why I'm doing it this way, this isn't the way I normally work but I think I, um, so whilst it's a jelly plate printed so I think I kind of forgot what I'm doing but anyway once I've done this one I realised what I was doing wrong. You can do it this way, it's just that it's not the way I work. So I'm going to press that down. That's quite nice but it's not exactly what I wanted. So this time we're going to put the colour straight down on the jelly plate first. Uh, this is cerulean blue. It's a nice light blue. I'm going to use some cutout shapes I've used previously. I love that spiral one and the bridges. So this is the way I do it normally. I put the paint down first and then the shapes. Then I rub firmly. Because this is fairly thick paper, I'm having to work extra hard to get the paint through. That's lovely. I love that. I do love a spiral. And any waste bits, I've got some uh, printer paper. I'm just um, using that on there. And I get some nice ghost print prints and things from that. This is um, the Wedgwood Blue from System 3 Acrylics. Again, I put too much down again. It's okay. And I'm just rolling that on. The way I like to work is um, I put a few light, uh, darker colours down, then lighter colours down, and darker colours. That seems to work quite well. Now the plan is just to get lots of interesting shapes and patterns and things on this sheet of paper, which I'm going to, then going to cut up into uh, items I can use in journals, like ATCs, postcards, tags, etc. I do like that. And I love that ghost as well. <laughs> Sometimes they're the best bits. And I'm using some, I think it's called violet, this colour. It's nice and uh, transparent actually. I'll have to make the most of that transparency, I think, in future things. I'm going to use this gear stencil. I use a lot of stencils and masks. That's working to get it through there. I'm not sure whether I like that stencil that much. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. But it makes a nice texture. Mm, that looked good. Now I've sped this video up, as I said, so sometimes you can't see the bits of paper that I've um, used for the ghost prints. Sorry about that. This is a little flower shape piece of foam that came in some packaging. I can't remember what for and I've always saved it thinking that'll be great. And it blooming is, I love it. <laughs> Take a print of that. And then take the rest off on a piece of paper. I ended up quite a few of those pieces of paper that I'll be able to tear up and use in collages. So it's all useful collage fodder we have here. That's Naples yellow, which I seem to have got everywhere there. I think I've got too much of it again as well. Uh, I've got um, some paper towel to the right of me. I'm actually rolling off onto it. It does cause a bit of fluff, unfortunately. But um, I can use that for collage as well. This is one of my homemade stencils, the curly one. I do love this one. I use it a lot. There, that's lovely. And I love what's happened there. Mm, that's looking good. Love it. Now that's already looking quite good. That would be fine just as it is, but of course I carry on, don't I? <laughs> I'm going to use the smaller smaller plate now 
Go to use one of my arrows. I do love this one. I'm quite fond of it. And I'm going in with a darker colour. I nearly did it the wrong way again. <laughs> so this is um, ultramarine, I think. And now I'm going to use the arrows. I made a mistake. I have on either side of the arrows a gap. So there's like blue lines. You'll see it in a moment. I rather wished I hadn't done that. But I think I do manage to cover them up later on. Can you see the lines? I mean, I oh, wish I hadn't done that. Never mind. It all gets cut up anyway. Now I'm having a think about what to do next. This is another one of my homemade ones. And I'm going to go in with a lighter colour this time. So this is a bit of zinc white. Oh no, that's titanium white. I'm struggling to get it out of the pot. And oh, it's very gunky and horrible. I think the paint that was on the roller has dried a bit. Still, it's going to get um, a decent print. I'm sure. There, that's some nice wide circles. I'm going to have to wash that down. It's got too sticky. So I'll give it a wipe down with a sponge. And I'm actually cleaning the roller, which you can't see me doing off screen there. I use a slightly thicker bodied paint for this. So I do get a bit of a drying problem if I'm not careful. I do have the heater on in the studio as well. So it's kind of warm in here, which is nice. Right now, I can't remember if that was the zinc. Now, I think that's the zinc. Yes, that looks like zinc. It's got a bit of transparency to it. Just wiping a bit of it off on that paper. And I'm going to use these smaller circles, which I also cut myself. Now, I tried to use this Payne's Grey, but it's uh, uh, something horrible gone wrong with it. There's only small amounts left in the bottom of a pot, and I think it's separated, so that wasn't working too well. A bit of fluff on it there. So I do take a print with it, but I'm not entirely happy. I'm using a stamp and taking the stamp out. And then I lay the paper down on it so I'm not sure that was too successful really but part of this is just um just trying things out and cover it up if I don't like it I did quite like the ghost print sorry you can't see that now I'm going over with some I'm wiping it down get that paint off it wasn't working for me Now I've decided to add some stamping to this page. So I've got my stays on, jet black out. I'm just going to use some of my sh standard shapes that I go to a lot. This is my uh, drinks circles one. I quite like that one. And my curly one. The smaller one because the other one's in the water. Trying not to uh, get gunked up with paint. And a flower one. I'm going to put every over here and there. I've got a letter stamp and I'm going to just stamp that as well. Just in a couple of places. Even if there's just a little bit that gets cut in, it's interesting texture and shapes. Right, so I'm looking at it wondering what to do now. I think I'm going to do something with that dark area. 
So I'm coming in with some Naples yellow. Oops, getting it all over the place again. <laughs> Never mind. I need a cleanish brush, brush to pick that up. There we go. Could use my circles. Could cover up some of that black. That's looking a lot better now. At the end, I do show you all the uh, results. I make some ATCs, some postcards and some tags. And I'll show you, I'll show you those all at the end. But I'm rather regretting I'm not showing you the papers that I got from it. Never mind. I could do a community post and put, the, put them in there. Oh, that looks lovely. I'm putting that on this cloth. <laughs> Again, I'm wiping that down because it went very sticky then. Yes, I don't purchase any special paints for this. I use my standard acrylic paints. But I know a lot of people buy um, the more flow type acrylics. And I suppose I could water some down and have them ready. But I just use my standard ones. It saves me buying too many art supplies. Not that that's normally a problem, you know, can't normally can't resist buying art supplies. So now I'm cutting up into some ATC shapes. And some postcards and tags. And I do this one sheet and then I do some more. <laughs> Oh, that looks lovely as it is. So I've cut quite a few ATC shapes because I am sending quite a lot out at the moment. And of course, they'll all be finished off with focal points in a moment. I do a lot of that off camera, actually, because that took me hours. But I do think I'll show one or two at the end. There, so I've got a pile of ADCs, a few other shapes I can turn into tags and things. So I'm going to do that now. And later on, I'll finish them off with focal points, sewing, eyelets where uh, necessary, and uh, string and things, and textiles as well. So now you've got the bases, you can do what you like with them. They're all slightly sticky actually at this moment. They haven't dried off properly, so I loved that pile, but I thought I wanted more. So I decided to do another one from this um, pad. There's only about three or four designs I'm not that keen on. Even if I don't like one design on one side, the other side is quite nice. So again, I've got too much and this is the ultramarine blue. Now I've still got too much, that's better. That's quite a translucent color as well. I quite like that. I'm using my um, masks. These are cut from cereal boxes. I like that. And I love that. Hope I get a good ghost print from that. Mm, not very good. Well, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to let that dry on the plate and then I'm going to do the um, the thing with zinc paint. But you'll see what I do in a, in a moment. Yes, I'm going to move that plate out of the way and bring in the little one. I'm letting the other one dry. So that's the Naples yellow again. And that's a lovely spiral. There's certain shapes and things that you quite often see in my work. Spirals is one of them. I do love them. You find them in nature and in art. 
and in mathematics, all of which I love. Yes, you heard me right, I even love mathematics. So I'm just planning what to do. I think we're going to do um, two, two plates on this one. This is the Wedgwood Blue. Now I'm going to do that. Mm, that's nice, I like that. What's the ghost sprint like? It's a quick flash of the ghost sprint as it goes past. Oh yes, not bad. Not bad. I quite like that Wedgwood Blue. It's almost a grey. Now, this paint has dried on here. So what I do is, um, I'm going to add some buff titanium, but I'm also coming in with some zinc white. I think that's the zinc white. And it's meant to be a very thin coat. So I'm spreading that all over very thinly. And what you can do is you can lift up the whole print and it will take away the, the paint that had dried on the plate. It's a great way to clean your plate. And that's lovely. I love that. That will certainly be used in collage in the future. Uh, this is the, oh, what is this? I think it's the Tharlow turquoise. It's a lovely strong colour. And again, that's fairly transparent as well. That's quite nice, actually. I quite like the transparent colours where you can see the colours below. It gives a more complex um, result. We're going to use another one of my favourite curly stencils that I cut myself. They're all beginning to get a bit gunked up with paint, so I might have to cut some more in the future. Spending a lot of time to make sure I got that transferred over. That's gorgeous. I'm going to let that dry and do a print from that. So now back to the little plate in the meantime. And this is um, like a magenta colour. I'm going to use a triangle one again with something else. Or I'm going to use the honeycomb. The honeycomb one isn't one I cut, it's a purchased one. I very rarely buy my own stencils. Right, I think I'll get to try and take a print from that, see if it's dry enough. Cleaning my roller off in the meantime. In fact, they both need a good soak and a good scrub down, really. I'll do that later today. So I'm going in with some buff titanium, just a thin coat all over. I've got a feeling this didn't work. This one didn't work out too well, so I don't think the Tharlow had dried. But we'll see what we get. That's all right, actually. I quite liked that. So that's a bit of a brief flash. And I'm going in with some buff titanium all over again. I'm going to use that on the paper I have to the left of me. Using my masks again. Okay, don't feel too enthusiastic about that, but never mind. <laughs> Just getting the excess off there. I'm looking at it, it still needs more doing to it. There's too much showing of the um, original paper underneath. So now I'm going in with a medium blue. I think it's cobalt blue. Um, or oh, it could be the primary blue. Yeah, the cyan that is, yeah. Going in with my swallow and a spiral. And I love the result I get from this. Those swallows, um, when we had lockdown and people were putting rainbows in the windows, I made a rainbow of those swallows and put them in my window. That is lovely. I love that. I'm going to let that plate dry and use that. Now I'm back to this plate, which is looking rather dirty. So I'm going in with a light colour. I'm going to take a print from that.
pressing that down firmly. Oops, no, it's not coming off too well. Never mind, that's quite dirty now. I'm going to use the other side. That's the good thing about jelly plates, they have two sides. <laughs> Putting some more of the Wedgwood blue down. I wanted to keep the colours mostly blue with the odd bit of light in the yellow and the buff titanium and occasionally a bit of the pink and purples. Um, I think this is a commercial stencil. I don't think I cut that one. I've had that for a long time. That's good. I've got a ghost print on there as well. Now I'm going to take a print from this. I think it turns out really rather good. Oh, way too much white on there. Take some off. Put it to the side and I'll use that later. Right, this is the zinc white, which is fairly fine. Um, fairly transparent and I'm putting just a thin, thin, thin coat on. I'm just going to use some printer paper. Pressing that down firmly, making sure it's taken. And that turned out beautifully, but, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to see it. I loved that. I'm certainly going to use that in something. I've got so many bits of paper now that I can use. Um, this is the Buff Titanium. Let's use the spiral mask and the seed pod mask and the bridge. Now it's beginning to look a lot more complex and I think it would be quite nice cut up now. So I probably don't, to do, don't need to do an awful lot more to it, but of course, I'm keeping going. This is the cerulean blue, I think. Oh, I'm doing some face masks now. I'd forgotten I've done these. These are some of the stencils I've cut previously, and I wanted to get some of those on so that I can cut out a face tag or a face ATC. Going to put that aside to dry, see if I can get a print from it. This one's looking a bit messy. Am I going to try and... Yeah, I think I'm using the zinc and I'm going to try and get a print of that. I'm not sure it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a go. Didn't work brilliantly well. There's a bit of texture there, but not much. Decided I need a bit more of the magenta. A lovely big spiral there. Ooh, that's nice. Got to do some more. Another face mask. This is the one that I cut in a recent video. I say cut, I burn them really. There, I like that one. To let that dry. And this has dried, I hope. And I'll just try and take a print of these. These are some of the zinc white. Very thinly. Oop, too much again. <laughs> Very thinly meant to be all over that's it I've got a feeling that might not work but we'll try it and see mm, it's a bit bit faint not brilliant right so I'm looking at this again now I'm coming in with the purple I want to mix some white in with it a pale purple
that's pretty. I like that. I'm going with the lighter colour, the Naples yellow with a bit of white. I think it's much prettier than the buff titanium. A lot brighter. The good thing about masks is, I made these last summer and I used them then, is that they um, can be used again and again until they fall apart basically. And once you get a good few layers of the acrylic paint on them, it makes them a lot stronger. Mm, that's nice. I'm going to try and get to see if I can get a print from this smaller plate. Ah, too much again. Again with the zinc white. Did that work? Not brilliantly. to try again on a spare piece of paper. Doesn't seem to want to come off. Oh well. Needs to be washed down again. So here's the um, card, and now it looks quite complex, but I'm going to cut out some ATC shapes and some postcards again and some tags again. This time I'm going to try and capture some of the faces I've got there. I've got that face, I'm going to try and cut that out. Love that. Yes, I like that. That's lovely. What a shame I cut that up. I like that as it was. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, but I turned that, I love that one on the left. With the seed pod, love that one. That's going to be an ATC. That might be a postcard. Could cut some more ATC pieces out from this. there. Lots of ADCs I'm making from this one. Now I'm going to do another stencil face but this time I'm going to not use the jelly plate. I'm just going to go through with the sponge and dark colour. So I'm going to use some of the purple. I'm just dabbing it through. It's a lovely transparent purple, so you can still see some of the shapes that are underneath, which I quite like the complexity of that. There, you can see the face now. And I think I can just about fit another little face down at the bottom there. These are both uh, stencils that I've cut myself. Or burnt. And I can trim those down, let those dry a bit. I'm going to look at these and see what I can make with these. I'm really pleased with that. I love those little ATCs. I'm going to cut some tags as well. I'm looking at that and I quite like it as it is, but I think I might need to trim it a little bit to a postcard size or a journal card size. I do love the abstract shapes you get left when you cut them down like this. They're really quite pleasing. 
turning that into another tag. Look at my hands, filthy. So I'm going to come back. <laughs> I've done quite a bit already of the embellishing of the bits and pieces, but I'm just going to finish off one or two. So basically what I've done is I've cut out shapes of plant shapes and I'm gluing them down and then I'm going to sew them down again on top. And I've done various different ones. And some of them I've added um, bits of fabric. I'm going to um, put an eyelet, obviously. Could I? Is there a video without me using an eyelet? If there is, let me know. I'm sorry, that's a bit low down on the screen. I hadn't quite got the camera positioned properly. But I do remember later on and um, bring it higher up. It's a nice pretty purple eyelet that'll go really well with that. And I'm going to give you a show through of all of them properly in a moment. Pretty blue eyelet. I think that's the end of the eyelets. So I didn't go too mad for eyelets. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'll be back in a second with a show through of what I've got so far. Just clearing the decks. Tidying up a bit. And here we are. <laughs> here they are. Are they lovely? Oh, I'm so pleased with these. That's a postcard or journaling card. So is that. I love that one. Here's one of the faces. And I've sewn around the edges. And here's the other face. It's the same face actually looking in a different direction. Put some sorry silk at the bottom of that one. I've got the other lady face. That's just a journal card. I've got this tag. I haven't done any decorating on that so much. I'm going to sew along that one. I love this one. Love it. That's a journaling card. That'll be nice slitted, uh, slotted inside a book. That needs a little bit of decorating. That one's fine. I need to sew along that. This is the one I love with the geometric shapes. Gorgeous. I love that. Put a bit of uh, sari, uh, not sorry, silk muslin on that. That's got sari silk. Love that one. I put some flowers on these two. They can go in my gardening journal. Got quite a few pieces for that now. This, um, I haven't done anything to. There's quite a few ATCs here I haven't done anything to. That one I've sewn all around there. And this one I've just sewn around the the stamp there. So I'm really pleased with my jelly plate printing session today. Um, I'm sorry it's such a long video, but I hope you enjoyed watching. I enjoyed sharing with you. Do leave me a comment down below or hit the like button. It helps YouTube to know that this is a good video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you. Bye.